OnShape offers eight different mate types in the assembly toolbar that functioned as described in the last video. The FastenMate removes all degrees of freedom between two parts, meaning the two parts are positioned to each other based on the mate connector selections and cannot move. The Revolute Mate allows one degree of freedom, rotation about the Z-axis of the aligned mate connectors. This mate type is useful to allow a part to spin in relation to another part. The Slider Mate also allows one degree of freedom, but a translation instead, along the Z-axis of the mate connectors. A good example of using a slider mate is a shaft that should slide within a hole or a bracket that should slide along a rail. The planer mate allows three degrees of freedom, translation along the X and Y axes and rotation about the Z axis of the aligned mate connectors. This mate is not as common, and in some examples, another mate type might be chosen instead to achieve the desired motion in a better way. The cylindrical mate allows two degrees of freedom, combining the revolute and slider mates, allowing for both translational and rotational movement about the Z axis. This is useful when a shaft should be able to rotate and slide. The pin slot mate also allows two degrees of freedom. The rotation about the Z axis and the translation is along the X axis. The X direction is determined by the X of the mate as shown in the graphics area. Reorienting the secondary axes might be needed to be sure the correct direction is defined. The ball mate allows three degrees of freedom. Rotational movement about all three axes of the mate connectors. This is similar to a ball and socket joint. The parallel mate allows four degrees of freedom, three translational degrees along the X, Y, and Z axes and rotation about Z. An example where this mate is useful is a robotic arm, where the arm should stay parallel to the floor, but the arm should be able to move up and down, left to right, and front to back of the robot. To create a mate, select the appropriate mate in the assembly toolbar. The mate dialog box appears. You can change the mate type in the dialog using the pull-down menu. As described in the last video, snap two mate connectors to each part by attaching them to a mate connector point. The parts align to each other, positioned at the mate connectors. Notice other mates previously created do not solve at this moment. Unshape isolates the active mate. To preview the entire mated assembly, select the Solve option. Offsets can be created for some mates, allowing you to add a clearance or space between the aligned mate connectors by inputting in a value. Adding a negative sign flips the direction of the offset. Different mate types allow offsets in different directions. Limits are available for mates that allow movement. The only exception to this is the ball mate. Limits bound motion about the degrees of freedom allowed in that mate type by inputting a value for a minimum and or maximum limit. Note, a smaller value must be in the minimum option versus the maximum option. Depending on the axis alignment, a negative sign might be needed on the value to define the correct direction for the limit. The animate option within the mate dialog previews the motion before accepting the mate. This option only animates the active mate, except the mate once complete. If you need to change a mate located in the graphics area or the mate features list, right click and select edit. Make the needed changes and accept. To reset a mate to the original location defined by the mate connector alignment, right click on the mate and select reset. You can also animate an assembly. Right-click on the mate to animate. If the mate has multiple degrees of freedom, select the degree to animate. Then set any limits needed for the animation. Note, if limits are set on the mate, they already appear in the animation dialog. Adjust the speed by changing the step's value. Choose to reciprocate playback and click play. Mates and assemblies define positional relationships between parts and establish motion if needed. Different mate types establish different motion. Onshape mates use mate connectors and mate connector points and can set limits on any degree of freedom allowed in that mate. Once mates are created, you can freely drag an instance that moves and view the mechanism motion or animate the motion. This video describes the basics to get started. To learn more about advanced mating topics, check out the OnShape Assemblies course in the Fundamental Pathway.